engage theory, Lie groups, which can be smoothly described by continuous parameters, are considered significant among various types of groups. Non-compact groups, like the Lorentz group, which have an infinite range of parameters, are included in Lie groups, but we will only look at compact groups with finite ranges. The two-dimensional rotation group can be described smoothly by a single angle parameter, for instance. By expanding the compact Lie group element near the identity element and taking it up to first order, we can describe the element with a finite number of generators x. Commutation relations can be satisfied by these generators. The commutator is a linear combination of x. The Lie algebra is the vector space that is determined for each Lie group, and the dimension of the Lie group is determined by the number of linearly independent generators. The coefficient, f, is called the structure constants, which characterize the structure of the Lie algebra. Lie groups are interesting because the exponential function's expression applies to all elements, not just those near the identity element. In summary, the entire Lie group is determined by the Lie algebra determined by the local properties near the identity element. The structure constants are responsible for determining the properties of the Lie group. The U1 group is isomorphic to the two-dimensional rotation group, and there is only one generator for it. It can be seen that the adjoint representation, AD, which has its representation space in the Lie algebra, satisfies the commutation relation mentioned earlier. The adjoint representation is a faithful representation of the rest when we take out the U1 group. We can choose a maximum number of elements from sets of mutually commutative elements and let H be the element. H is called the Cartan subalgebra, and R is the rank of the Lie algebra. R is determined by the Lie algebra, regardless of the choice of elements. The Cartan subalgebra generates the U1 subgroup of the Lie group. Elements other than H can be labeled with R eigenvalues alpha of H and expressed as E alpha. These eigenvalues are the charges of the U1 group that H generates. Alpha vector, which is R dimensional, is known as the root. The adjoint representation of H implies that if alpha is a root, minus alpha is also a root. Therefore, we can choose H A E alpha, E minus alpha, as the basis of Lie algebra. The commutation relations of the spaces can be calculated from the definition of H and the Jacobi identity. These commutations show that operating E plus minus alpha changes the charge by the root plus minus alpha. In that sense, E plus minus alpha are ladder operators. Among the Lie algebras, E plus minus alpha and the linear combination alpha H are isomorphic to the Lie algebra of the SU2 group. Therefore, specifying one root, alpha, determines one SU2 subgroup. Like the SU2 group, the ladder operator can only operate if the representation space is finite and the coefficient, n, is determined by the root. Furthermore, the angle theta formed by the two roots must satisfy several equations. The Lie algebra has d minus r roots if its dimension is d. Since the root is an r-dimensional vector, it can be used to represent others. Let's select r roots starting from the smallest positive root. The r roots that are determined this way are referred to as simple roots. Positive roots other than simple roots can be obtained by repeatedly acting on simple roots. In other words, the root of the Lie algebra is determined by the simple root. The only angles formed by two simple roots are pi over 2, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, and 5 pi over 6. Let's represent the simple root with a circle, connect the two circles with 0, 1, 2, 3 lines according to pi over 2, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6, and draw an arrow from the longest to the shortest. These diagrams are called Dinkin diagrams. The Dinkin diagram allows us to see the inner product relationship of simple roots, determine all the roots, and determine the commutation relationship, which is characteristic of the Lie algebra. A compact Lie group is identified as a consequence. Only the groups shown in the figure are allowed for connecting simple roots. The direct product of these and the U1 group are the only possible compact Lie groups.